Hello, today I am going to introduce the ISLM framework considering the effects of increase in taxes. Okay. It should be mentioned here that the related videos, related lectures on the ISLM framework, you can find all those lectures in the description box. Okay. So today I will be discussing about the increase in taxes and its impact. The impact of increase in taxes on the ISLM framework. Okay. Now, look, increase in taxes. Here we have, we have three figure. This is panel A. This is panel A figure. This is panel B. And this is panel C. Okay. Panel C. So it is R0. Along the vertical axis, we measure the interest rate. And along the along the horizontal axis we measure the investment and plus government expenditure and in, in panel b along the vertical axis we measure the savings plus tax and along the horizontal axis we measure the real output and in panel c along the vertical axis we measure the interest rate and along the horizontal axis we measure the real output okay so here is the r0 here is the r0 here also r0 rate of interest now look this is the investment plus government expenditure curve okay this represents this represent actually it is the locus of all those points between I0, Z0 and R0. All those combinations of investment plus government expenditure and rate of interest. Okay, so this is the investment plus government expenditure curve. And now this is the saving plus taxes curve. This is the savings plus taxes curve. And now if there is an increase in taxes, if there is an increase in taxes, then S plus T0 will be S plus T1 because here T0 and here T1, okay? Now it is, it should be mentioned here is that T1 is greater than T0, okay? T1 is greater than T0. And this is the disposable disposable income y minus y minus t0 is the disposable income okay is the disposable income and when tax is t0 and here y minus t1 is also the disposable income but here taxes is t1 Okay, which is greater than T0. Now, if there is an increase in taxes, then, then what happens to make 
the equilibrium in the goods market that is i equal to s i equal to s to make goods market in equilibrium that is i equal to s income should be decreased income should be decreased it means that when there is a tax is t0 then income is y1 okay income is y1 and this income at this real output we get the goods market in equilibrium at the interest rate r0 when there is an increase in taxes then savings curve will shift left to maintain the goods market in equilibrium because invest to make equality between the investment and saving savings curve should be shifted to the left to the left okay it should be shifted to the left and as a result of this income falls and y0 is less than y1 okay y0 less than y1 this is the new this is the new real output real income when taxes is t1 which is greater than t0 okay now the inter it should be mentioned is here is that i0 here this point this point actually represents i0 plus z0 equal to equal to s0 plus t0 equal to s1 plus t1 okay this point actually represents a situation where i0 z0 i0 plus g0 is equal to with s0 plus t0 is equal to with s1 plus t1 it happens because goods market equilibrium is to be restored okay goods market equilibrium is to be restored so rate of interest is the same rate of interest is the same and i curve is nothing but the locus of income real income or real output and and interest rate it is the i curve is nothing but the locus of combination locus of all those combinations between between real output and interest rate okay so interest rate is same r0 interest rate is r0 and income is income is now y0 y0 okay when there is a increase in taxes when there is an increase in taxes when t1 is greater than t0 okay when tax is t0 at the initial stage income is y1 income is y1 income is y1 and when there is an increase in taxes when there is an increase in taxes income will fall income will decrease that is y0 that is y0 and interest rate is r0 so so what happens when increase in taxes when increase in taxes 
ice curve will shift to the left will shift to the left okay and this amount this amount a to b the distance is measured by del t del t by minus d by 1 minus b okay so so look so this distance b and e this amount is nothing but this del t multiplied by the minus b by 1 minus b okay b is the marginal propensity to consume and 1 minus b is the marginal propensity to save okay so if there is a decrease in taxes what happens if there is a decrease in taxes if there is a decrease in taxes if there is a decrease in taxes then the ice curve then the ice curve will shift up will shift up okay suppose this is the initial this is the initial ice curve and when there is a decrease in taxes then it will shift to the right it will shift to the right okay and then income will income will be higher comparative to the previous one okay now if there is a decrease in taxes then this savings curve will shift to the right will shift to the right okay and it it will it will shift because to maintain the equilibrium in the goods market at the interest rate at the interest rate r0 at the interest rate r0 is required and so in that case the y1 y1 is greater than y0 y1 is greater than y0 so so when there is a there is a increase there is a decrease in the tax rate savings curve will shift to the right okay and income will increase and it it has an effect on the ice curve what type of effect we get we get we get the ice curve will shift to the right ice curve will shift to the right okay so and income will be higher so this is the this is the fundamental understanding of increase in taxes or decrease in taxes on the ISLM framework okay on the ISLM framework hope you understood this lecture and thank you for enjoying thank you for enjoying this lecture